My name is Dr. Andrea Hayes Jordan, and I am presently the Surgeon in Chief of the North Carolina Children's Hospital and a distinguished professor of surgery of the University of North Carolina. I'm really excited today to share with you a new article that's going to be published in the Journal of the American College of Surgeons. As a lead author, I'm very excited to share the information that children with colon cancer are very different than adults with colon cancer. What we found in a study that I performed at MD Anderson Cancer Center was that patients under age 25 years have a much poorer outcome than those over 25 years of age. I began to be interested in this topic when I saw many children that were coming into the hospital with colon cancer. When I went to medical school between 1987 and 1991 at Dartmouth Medical School, we nor any other medical student was ever taught that a child had colon cancer. So this was all news to me. The article describes that children with colon cancer have a much higher incidence of death from colon cancer and that death rate cannot be explained by the stage of colon cancer. That means if you had a child with stage 2 colon cancer and an adult with stage 2 colon cancer, the risk that that child would die of the colon cancer was three to four times as high as the adult. And that's information that we didn't have before. What we don't know is why that is. Why is the disease so different? What we do know is that the chemotherapy that we give the children is the same as we give the adults. And perhaps this chemotherapy is not working. It's clear that the children are progressing in their cancer despite the chemotherapy that they've been given. So the chemotherapy is just not effective in a child's cancer. What we don't know is why that is. Why is it that they are not responding to the chemotherapy and their tumors are more advanced? And it's not just the tumors are spreading in the same pattern as they do in adults. In adults, the tumor in the colon spreads from the colon to the lymph nodes to the liver. Sometimes, very rarely, it will spread outside of the colon into the tissue around the colon inside the abdominal cavity. In children, they have almost a seven times chance of having this tumor spread outside of the colon, but in the abdominal cavity um, and not spreading to the liver. So that brings up more questions. Why does the tumor spread in that way? And is it the tumor cell itself? Or is it the child that's different? We call that the seed in the soil. So is it the genetic makeup of the colon cancer cell? Or is it the child's immune system that is different or the child's body in some way that is different? There are many more questions to answer, but what we would like the public to know is that if you're a parent of a child who's older than pubertal age and they have any vague abdominal discomfort, even if you think it's constipation, that you should bring it to the attention of your healthcare provider and they should do imaging and other tests to be sure that that's not what it is. Most commonly, of course, it will be constipation or something very simple to treat. But what we need them to know is that it is in the realm of possibilities that it's colon cancer in a child.